All right, this is what we're gonna be installing today. We have the Alltrack 650 amp controller. We got the AC motor kit. We're swapping the battery for a bigger BMS. And we'll get this bad boy going today. All right, you guys, first thing we gotta do, we're gonna swap this battery out. This has a 130 continuous amp BMS in it, and we need something bigger than that. So we got a upgraded battery sitting over there. It's got a 230 continuous amp discharge and a peak of 575 amps for 10 seconds. And that should be enough to run this motor kit. So stay tuned. All right guys, so here is the sock motor speed sensor. We're gonna take that cover off up there and get to the original controller right now. All right, we got the instructions, everything out. This is for the 2008 and newer club car, tempo, precedent models, all of that. So this is the one we're going to be doing right here. Okay, first thing we're going to do is install the USB-A, which is how you control it. Basically, uh, it's a printer cable. Um, but let's go ahead and install that first. Okay, you will feed this through there, and I'll show you when it's done. Okay, so I put the cap on first. And then I fed this through here. There's a little washer, little rubber washer that goes there. And then it can only go on one side because of the, it can only go on one way because of that flat part right there. And that's that. This is going to be installed right here. Okay, this is how it's oriented. This is down. This is how this gets installed is right through here. And then this cable is going to go through here, okay? Okay, so this is the side that faces your battery underneath your seat. This is what you'll plug into when you want to set your parameters. This cap just covers that port. And then this will get plugged into the actual controller on the back side. Flip this over. Here's that right there. This will end up going right here. So that that's done and then this has four machine screws with allen heads on them and lock nuts and that can only go on one way but it goes just like that this has been fastened and secured we got our port mounted and that thing is all good to go now if you're doing this and you order an aftermarket MZJ 400 amp is what the recommended solenoid is, or a SW200 in Albright. If you order these on Amazon, there's a knockoff and you will get a ZJ400, and that will not work with the all tracks. So this one is what I had in stock. It's a MZJ600, and it works just fine and I'll end up installing that somewhere in there. And as long as it's MZJ, it'll work. Otherwise, there's not enough continuity to between the two terminals and the knockoffs don't work. Because I'm using this bigger solenoid, I will have to just drill another hole and I'll use this other stainless steel bolt to go through and then that'll be secured. And I got, it's a little tight here, but it'll be just fine. Okay, I got the two gauge wire that was supplied with the kit is going from this right side of the solenoid to B positive. And then I put the B negative lead just on there right there. So now we're gonna work on taking the motor off and, uh, and getting this bad boy mounted first. All right, I've already disconnected everything, but I unplugged 
the pink and green wires from the toe switch, the light blue and the dark blue wires from the solenoid, the pink wire, which goes to the uh, main negative, or sorry, main positive. All of that's been disconnected along with the B minus, the main negative. This goes to the motor, the green, and then the main positive. So all of that's been disconnected. So now I should be able to get this out. We'll take this out. And that's all released. We got Diego down here disconnecting the motor right now. He's taking off all the uh, cables that are attached to it and we're about to pull that off. Okay, so I threw some lock washers on here because it does not come with them. And we're attaching our three cables first so that when we install it, we won't have to reach in there and hook those up. And we're gonna mount this to the, it's got a 19 tooth spline. 19 or this one might be 10. Club car is 10, but it's the right one. Okay, this is the provided bolts, lock washers, and washers that come with it to mount the motor. And we will be hooking up this one to right here. That's the ground. And that'll go to the controller. Boom, just like that. There we go. And then this is the ground. Get that okay, Diego? Yes. Here's the next one. Chino, I got this one. There you go. That's right, buddy. And that's how it's done. Okay, this is all installed and ready to go. And we'll get that controller on. So, up underneath here, you have to cut out a chunk of this so that the the cover fits. You can see any in instructions. If it's right, right here, you got to cut that chunk out before this can be installed. On this one, you have to install the run toe switch bypass, and this gets a little bit confusing. But this will go on this side of the solenoid and then this will get spliced in with the provided green spade connector will get spliced in with this green wire just like this so these will go on my run toe switch and this will go to the right side of that solenoid's little terminal okay so we took this we took some two gauge cable Put on a connector i'll have to bore that out so that it fits on the solenoid and then this goes to this original wire right here and then this will go to the controller go to the battery okay so this is the lead that we made i got a 5 16 end on this side this will get connected to the battery the terminal right there and then this has the 3 8 poured out. This will go on the solenoid and that'll connect to where the existing one was. So there you go. All right, so this one will get the 
ring con terminal connector on that one. And then the light blue one will crimp and just dead end with this. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so this will go on the toe switch. The other pink wire will go on the toe switch. This will go to the positive solenoid lead that we made. This will go to the right side terminal. And then the dark blue wire will go to this side. All right, we're gonna put this controller inside. We have our main negative lead. It'll go to the battery. The main positive, it'll go to the battery. We're gonna connect the WVU from the motor. The R is for uh, easy go TX or uh, RXV, so ignore this. And then we'll hook up the 16 pin connector, our ground that went to the motor. And then this is for your on the fly controls. Okay, so we have the bypass kit here that will be connected to the toe switch. This will go right here. This is the other side of the toe switch. Those are hooked up. This one is dead end. And then this one will get connected right here. And now we're good to go. Okay, so white wire that was attached to the motor ground gets plugged in there at J3. This is the on the fly control. And then I hooked up the 16 pin harness that is stock right there. And then the, this is pretty self-explanatory. That's the speed sensor. So now we're ready to put everything together. All right, so we stuffed this in there. You can see it fits tight. And then we have the main positive and the main negative coming out right here. These will get hooked up to the battery. Here's the toe switch. And then we'll hook up here for the programming. Diego is feeding all the wires through the original plastic cover so that we can remount that. Alright, so now we're gonna mount the cables, the U, V, and the W cables to the controller. Okay, so we made this all nice and tidy. Everything feeds in there, and we got this to clip on, and this to clip on here. So that's it from underneath. This, we ran the on-the-fly control all the way up to the front, and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so we just put it right there. Nothing crazy, uh, customer didn't care, so I think it looks good, it's out of the way. Um, you can reach over and uh, change the settings. So that's it. We'll connect these and uh, start programming. All right, we got our cables connected. Two gauge wire. This is actually one gauge wire for the ground. On off switch works. And we'll turn the battery on and program it from there.